okay, so boom. You see that Amira shirt? When we wear it, talking about black people, how we make it trend. This is the owner right here, Mike Amira. Hold on one second. What kind of shoes Offset wearing right here? Balenci? Hold on. This is the founder of Balenciaga. But when we put them on our feet, who do we make want to wear it? The whole world. Still got my Nike boots flyed in the rest of them. What is that he wearing? Louis Vuitton? This is the owner of Louis Vuitton. But when we wear Louis Vuitton, who do we make want to wear Louis Vuitton? This is Gucci wearing Gucci. This is the founder of Gucci, who Gucci pockets will never amount to. You see what he rocking? Y'all ever hear them rappers talk about the AP watch? Hold on one second. These are the founders of the AP watch. You see that hat that boy rocking at that fashion show? That Nike, just do it. You see these 10 brothers right here? They're not only the face of their team. They are the 10 highest paid brothers in the NBA. This is who created the basketball. These are some of the people who have something to do with the foundation of the NBA. You know what this is? Oh, this that FN that them rappers be talking about that. That they be glorifying? They got a lot of our youths out here want to go and get an FN? It's also made by, yeah. I said all that to say this. Why are we still fighting for a seat at the table when we already see who's sitting there? And when are we going to recognize that we are the driving force of the economy? When are we going to start recognizing that the founders of these brands and organizations choose us to be the face because they know that we got the swag. <laughs> they see the royalty that's within us. Because when we put it on or when we do it, it ain't like when they do it or when they put it on. We constantly complain about being mistreated. But you know what we lack? Let's hold each other accountable real quick. We lack discipline. They know we like to be fresh. They know we like to rag clean. And in the back of their mind, they saying, oh, they programming broken enough to where they going to always need us. But the truth of the matter is they only run in the world because we're allowing it. The minute we discipline ourselves and we come together and we create everything that will not only line our pockets, but will create that shift and put us in the position of power that we rightfully belong in, we'll continue to have these conversations. We'll continue to stay in this spiritual bondage. We'll continue to sit in the palm of their hands in a whole nother form of captivity. We don't got to do nothing but take the initiative. Let's start with small groups. Start buying land. Start farming. I'm sure it's enough of us out here who are educated enough if we wanted to build our own schools. Build our own banks. Sitting up in that church building giving the tithes to your pastor every Sunday. He ain't doing nothing but building onto that church and buying vans. And ain't did nothing to help the build community. Oh, that's a thing of the past. What are real brothers and sisters who ready to make some moves? Because I ain't going to lie to you. I am. Jump in the comment section of my DM. Let's start forming these groups and start making some moves. Because all that sitting back talking, that's played out. It's time to make a sacrifice. <laughs>